It was February 9th, 2013. Went back to the bathroom, there she was laying on the floor. So then I called 911. She was slurring her words. She couldn't open her eyes anymore. It was heart-wrenching. As a mom, you want to take it all away. But I never, I don't think any of us ever expected to know how bad it was. Got to our local hospital. The preacher, the pastor showed up. And then I knew this, this, is, this is not good. Doctors finally came out and told us that she had a severe bleed in her head. She was very critical and they couldn't help her. They can't help her. That's when Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital was contacted. Um, Lifeline came and picked Haley up. They needed to do emergency surgery on her to relieve the pressure in her brain. They need our consent to do it and I told them whatever you have to do. Do what you need to do to save her daughter. Haley's prognosis was initially uh, quite poor. Her neurologic status was uh, she was in a coma. She was not breathing on her own independently. She was in very serious grave condition when she arrived. One minute, everything's fine. And 10 minutes later, you have a child who you're not sure is going to live. We could lose her. Jenna didn't want to cry in front of Haley. Jenna and Haley have always been so close. They're identical twins. She held her hand and told her she needed to pull through this because uh, she couldn't live without her twin. That was hard. After about 72 hours or so, we were able to keep the pressures under control. We found out that she was born with a condition called arteriovenous malformation, AVM. If she was able to pull through the hemorrhage, her fight wasn't over. Um, this malformation needed to be fixed or she would continue to have brain hemorrhages. It was rough. She couldn't smile. She couldn't talk. She couldn't walk at that point. But just to see her start to wake up, see her open her eyes, her big blue eyes that I had not seen for over two weeks, that was just amazing. The one deficit that she does have is some uh, weakness of her vocal cords. Hi, I'm Haley. She's such a unique person anyway, and I'm like, well, now you had the unique voice to go with it. <laughs> I like it. It just makes me unique. I am so grateful that when they were looking for a hospital for Haley to go to, that Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital was the one that they chose. From her lifeline flight, we knew Haley was in the best hands. To see Haley thriving. As a mom, I couldn't want anything else. It fills my heart. Children's Miracle Network, they care. Their care shines through with everything they do. We couldn't have gotten through what we got through without them. Happy birthday, dear Jenna and Haley. Happy birthday. It means a lot that they have people that come and actually help the kids. Haley's prognosis is excellent. I want to be an art teacher because I love teaching kids and I absolutely love art. So when she paints or draws, there's normally the word hope somewhere. Jenna actually, in their bedroom, wanted to paint the word hope on the wall because she wanted that to always be an inspiration to both of them. She's always been my very best friend and a sister. We love to do almost every single thing together. We can't do anything almost without each other. Right now, being with her, it's, it's awesome. Haley's done remarkable. I think she has far exceeded all expectations. She's our miracle, and we know that, <laughs> and she knows that. After this, I feel like I can do anything because I was able to live 